Welcome to an introduction to ICPSR's online data access request system, IDARS, for securing restricted use studies. IDARS is used by DSDR, NACJD, NOTUP, Research Connections, HIMCA, RCMD, and the General Archive at ICPSR, and the terms of the agreements are developed with the data producers. IDARS provides a place to gather and store required information about the research project, PI, staff, data security plan, and IRB. It also reminds the PI about submitting an annual report if required and provide an updated IRB. The PI can update research staff and equipment as needed and request additional data when available. For the sake of illustration, we'll use ICPSR study number 31142, Chicago Community Adult Health Study 2001-2003. Please understand that there may be differences in the IDAR sections from archive to archive and even study to study. I have already logged in to my My Data account. Agreements in IDARs are tied to your My Data account and you won't be able to see the agreement or applications without logging in. When you start a new application, IDARs will send you an email from the person who has responsibility for managing the requested study with its URL. Keeping that email handy is one way to get back to your application and it tells you who to contact and what their email address is if you have questions about the process. Let's see more about restricted data by clicking on this link. This page has information on how to tell if a study is restricted use, who can secure this type of data, what distinguishes restricted use data from publicly available data, and there is a list of ICPSR restricted use studies. This page also has a link to restricted use data agreements associated with your My Data account. Let's go back to the study page for 31142. On the page for this study, you can download a copy of the codebook, questionnaire, and other documents to help you assess the appropriateness of this study for your project. Please be aware that some studies also restrict access to the codebook and other materials. Clicking on the link for the Restricted Use Data application takes you to a welcome page for this study. Under that will be the applications and agreements that are associated with your My Data account. I only have one restricted data request associated with my My Data account. You see that it shows the status of the application and that I am logged in. It also shows a link to definitions of terms used in IDARS. You should know that the request number becomes your agreement number when approved. Clicking on the URL for the project lets you enter the application. Also, the application number is shown in several places, here and here, and in the address bar. Each of these links requires complete responses to the questions contained herein. At the end of each section of the application, there is a Save and Continue button. IDARS will save your work if you click this button when you leave the section. For the investigator and research staff, we need to have full names, complete address, email address, and exact details regarding computer make and model and operating system. For the research description, please be prepared to provide a detailed description of the research plan and how the restricted data you are requesting helps you answer your research question. Under data selection, in some cases there are multiple data sets in the study and you may need to select each one separately. However, often you just select the name study and that's sufficient. Under data formats, we ask you to rank your preference of data formats here. Generally all formats, SAS, SPSS, STATA, and TAB Delimited are available, but you can only have a single copy of the data. In the Confidential Data Security Plan, you will first choose a data security plan that has been approved by the study's data producer and then respond to questions related to that plan, such as where the data will be stored and how it will be accessed, to name a few. You may find it helpful to have input from a member of your institution's technical staff about which of the data security plans is appropriate for you and to help you answer some of these questions. The IRB needs to relate to the research project being undertaken with these data, and it must be attached prior to submitting the application. The required final signatures on the application 
are from the named PI on the project with a counter signature from a staff member at your institution who is authorized to enter into agreements on behalf of your institution, such as a vice president, dean, provost, center director, or director of sponsored projects. Completing the application is a process, and the ICPSR staff members who work with applicants are happy to respond to questions via email. Remember to check the email that you receive when you started your application for their name and email address. You can simply respond to that message if you need help. Submitting an application prior to completion should be avoided as it moves the application into a queue for the staff member and can no longer be edited by the PI. In general, applications are approved, but they go through a back and forth exchange between the PI and the ICPSR staff member to ensure that the confidentiality of the study's respondents is protected and the terms of the agreement are met. In the information box below this video is a list of links of archives that use IDARs and have restricted use data for more information about their application requirements, including fees, if appropriate. In some cases, there is an application fee with restricted use data. The information about the fees can be found on the archives webpage on restricted use data. Data may be sent on CD to the PI via first class mail return receipt requested or it may be transferred to the PI via secure download. The means of delivery depends upon the requirements of the data producer. This has been an overview of using ICPSR's online data access request system, IDARS.